Hey guys, Alexis Miller with Cisco Pilates. Rebecca is going to help demonstrate a side leg series using a magic circle. So if you don't have one of these, they are affordable to find on Amazon.com <laughs> or other places that I don't want to mention. <laughs> um, but therefore, these are like 25 bucks. So lie on your left side facing this way, please. Okay, and we're gonna go straight legs, and they're slightly forward, so her body is lined up against the back edge of the mat here. And then we're gonna start bottom leg, and this is harder to set up on your own than with a helper, so take your time. Bottom leg inside, top leg is gonna start outside. Like that, exactly. All right, so it's at the ankles here. Okay, rotate this leg in a little bit. Yep, not too far in, but just the knee is facing forward. So from here, she does a little push hold and then release. And push hold and release. And if you are someone who tends to lock your knee joint, just make sure that that knee joint is soft here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good, now she's gonna rotate it out and do the same thing, press hold there. So this is just gently working the inner thighs a little bit. She's keeping her hips stacked, one on top of the other. Good, one more there, and then you rotate it back in. From here, she's gonna trace the outside of the circle. So it goes forward, and then it's gonna go back behind. So it's like a little arc. The thing that's so great about the circle, especially for someone like Rebecca, she's very flexible. So this really forces her to contain her legs in a smaller space. So it really helps with control and stability. Now take this leg inside the circle, flex all ten toes, all right? So you're going to press it up, up, and then down, and press it up and down like you're trying to stretch the circle. Push, mm -hmm. push, yes. Up. Good, one more there. And then take that leg on top again. Good, now your bottom leg is gonna go up down. So this is hard, she has to stabilize the circle with her top leg. You don't have to push too much on the circle with the top leg. It will automatically go down a little with the weight of that leg. And then you go up to stay. You're gonna trace the inside of the circle with the bottom leg. Make a full circle around. Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> Working that inner thigh, right? Yeah. Press your head back a little bit. That's great. Reverse. Get all the way around that thing. Get in there, <laughs> yeah. Good, and then stay, and then this leg rotates out again, and it's gonna go up from there, right? And then back down. Uh-huh, so hang on a second. Let's stack your hips a little forward there. Up. This is hard for Rebecca on this side. You'll see it'll be different on the other side. She has mm -hmm. a hip replacement on this side, so her range of motion is a little smaller in this direction, and that's totally fine for her body. Good, and one more there. Yes, good, so now she does her little magic circle trick. So the trick is tricky. You're gonna do a little press, you're gonna roll it backwards. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can do it. No pressure, you're on camera. Take <laughs> this leg on the other side of the circle and then roll it forward. Ta-da, magic circle trick. All right, so from here, good job. <laughs> lift both legs up. Oh, it's so hard, and then back down. Both legs lift, down, up, down, lift, don't lean back. <laughs> Lift. Lift. Good. All right, so from here, let's just adjust it a little, so sometimes you need to fix it. All right, so then you lift it up to stay. Bottom leg does little pulses. Just the bottom leg is going to squeeze. That's hard, super hard. Done. That's it. <laughs> Other side, please. So we're going to take your head down at this end. Okie doke. Okay, so I'm gonna help her set it up so we go bottom leg inside, top leg outside. 
Okay, so she's lined up in a straight line here, and then we just do a little push and release. Let's do push hold, push hold. Yep, so the knee is facing forward for this one. Remember, soft knee, especially if you have a tendency to lock and release, yes. So press it, hold, and release, and push, and release, nice. So good, one more there. And then you rotate it out. Yes, same thing, push, release. Very nice. Good, and then we rotate it back in. From here, you're gonna go trace the outside of the circle, forward and back. Mm -hmm. So again, this can also be done against a wall if you want more stability. If you feel like your hips are moving around a lot and you need some more support, then just line your body up against a wall or the if your couch comes down kinda low, you can do it there too or a bed maybe. Good, you're gonna go inside the circle. You're gonna flex all 10 toes and then this top leg goes push up, down. Push, lift, down, good, press it. Mm -hmm. so she's really working the outer hip here. Nice. Good, we're gonna take this top leg on top again. Bottom leg now goes up down to work the inner thigh. Go up to stay, she's gonna circle inside the circle. Reverse. It's more of an oval now. <laughs> Circle inside the oval. Nice. Good, and that goes down. Okay, you rotate this guy out. From here, it goes up from there. Straighten it, and then back down. All right, so make sure your hips are stacked, and then when you go up, the hip doesn't move. There you go. Now try to find that rotation. Uh -huh. That's the hard part, is finding that external rotation there. It might mean, so she's very flexible, but it might mean that you don't get quite as high especially if you're a little bit tighter and you really find that rotation, you might not get, you know, I don't want you to kick your head anyway. <laughs> That's not the goal. I'm not trying to kick anyone's head here. <laughs> we wanna keep good form, keep yourself square. It's much more important than, than range of motion. Good. Done.